Hey, I'm Alfreda's and this is my Movie Minute. I know you're thinking, Movie Minute, why are you in here? Because this Movie Minute is about Sparkle and I'm taking you behind the film or basically beyond the film. This is Kim Lee. She's the makeup artist for Sparkle. So she did the, who, who make, whose makeup did you do? Whitney Houston, Tika Sumter, wow. Carmody Jogo. So if you're wondering why I look like this, there's nothing, there's this, because she's going to tell us how you go from this to sparkle, right? That's right? And look at all her wear. This is how much stuff. She's got all this stuff in her purse. She's got this, she's got that. She's got the backpack. It's too much. I don't know if you're trying to tell me I need all this. She's got this arsenal of stuff <laughs> to make me look surgery. good. <laughs> yes, this is like plastic <laughs> surgery for me. But you're beautiful. Are you sweet? You I'm are. gonna be beautiful in a minute. All right. I always knew you had the gift. It makes me feel I've done something right. Don't lose it. So isn't the point to look like you don't have makeup on unless you're on stage? Well, this is a period movie, so it's a little bit different, and the girls were very animated in the sense that we um, did a 60s feel with a modern twist. So the makeup in the 60s was very muted, and it was very um, one-dimensional. So in other words, it wasn't a lot of heavy contouring. Everyone's face kind of looked flat. So what the producers specifically wanted is for the girls to have this modern twist. And so that modern twist comes with a little bit of light contouring, and it also, of course, you know, a little shimmer on the cheeks, lighter lip, not as pasty of a foundation. So we really sheared out the foundations and made them very beautiful. And we really focused on the eyes. Like the eyes were the big thing in the movie because that is really what you know the, the 60s to be about. When you think about the 60s and you think about um, some of the arts, you think about Diana Ross. Absolutely. You know, you think about those big, beautiful eyes sure, that she had. And sure. so, you know, if you don't, if you're not born with those lashes, we of course have to add them. And so that made a huge difference um, in the movie piece. But certainly, you know, sometimes women kind of can go overboard with the makeup on a day-to-day. -day. Um, and I think it's just because of, you know, reality TV, you know, and women seeing other women on television look so glamorous. And so sometimes they kind of want to live and be the housewife of PG County. Yeah. And really, <laughs> and really, you know, that's not, that's not realistic. So for me, no makeup on, no brows. This is very courageous for me to be on camera looking like this. But, but um, I know I don't care. Listen, here's why, because I don't care. <laughs> Listen, it is what it is. Um, but for me, like this, what do you do to just make me look every day something? What's the most important thing a woman can do to make herself just look polished? Polished. You know what? For me, I, I, I really... It's just like painting a wall. When you think about a room, you think about a wall, you think about how it's important that that paint looks it's best if the paint is off in the room you can't see the furniture you can't see the carpet or the hardwood floor because the paint is so horrific so for me um, a great foundation is always key it always depends on what you're doing I really love tinted moisturizers because they're I do too. they're so great. basically everyday stuff mm -hmm. you want the right foundation and you want a little bit of eyes because here's the problem with me I got no brows yeah I said it you heard me say it there it's out there I've got no brows if you have brows you're lucky you That's have right. beautiful brows. Thank you. I don't know if they're really yours. Or they're not mine. They're gorgeous, though. They're good. And here, there's an art to doing good brows. I can never do it, so I just try to make them look bushy. Yeah, I do because I can't make them look perfect. But as long as they're sisters, they don't have to be twins. Sometimes they look like cousins. I, I see. like that. Who of all the celebrities that you've ever worked with? Look at your cute little thing on your arm. I'm sorry. This is my ADD hardy work. <laughs> the, who gave you the biggest, the coolest experience? Whitney. Of course. I knew you were going to say that. I didn't want to say who was the person you liked the most, but the biggest experience was, was with Whitney. Whitney. Was she nice? She was amazing. Really? Yeah, she was really good. She was very witty and fun and, you know, she was very, you know, motherly but sisterly at the same time. So it's almost like you got the best of all of Whitney because not only would she act, but then she would sing on set. We would do the Michael Jackson experience on set, and so that was a lot of fun. And she would give us all great advice, you know, and she would always tell us about all of her experiences. Because, you know, in between, you always have all this free time while they're setting up cameras and things like that. So, you know, she was really, really good about just kind of sharing her experiences in her life. And literally, when she would talk, everybody would get quiet. Because, you know, you want to hear, what's Whitney talking about? Like, what? how was her, you know, her time with, with, with Michael and, you know, Clive Davis and all of these big people that you only see on TV? Let me ask you, does it make a difference, the stuff you buy at the grocery store? Because I've tried to buy the <laughs> stuff at the grocery store, and then I get home, and I'm like, oh, my God, this isn't my color. So does it make a difference, the stuff you're talking about as major designer, and then you go to the department store, and it's like $50, $60. 
grocery stores ten dollars doesn't make a difference. It does make a difference. I think a lot of what it is is really packaging more than anything, because most of the companies are owned by the same, uh, you know, manufacturer. But if I'm if I gotta buy it at the grocery store, tell me the best line. I really like L'Oreal. Okay. I'm at Neiman's. I'm at Bloomingdale's. I'm at Saks. Got a little cash. What do I use there? I really like Bobby Brown or NARS. I do too. Bobby Brown's my favorite. Okay, good. That's good to know. Yep. Now I got tons and tons of money. I'm ordering it from New York. <laughs> I love Kevin Aquan. We used Kevin Aquan on the movie. Really? We did. So it just depended on what it was and what the scene was. Yeah, Kevin Aquan is the man. Sweet. Okay, who great. is, who had the easiest face to make up into the re Tika Sumter from the movie. Really? Megan Good. Megan Good's just gorgeous. Unbelievable. She's every, beautiful. Every time I do Megan, I'm like, Megan, really? Like, you, my son could do your makeup. Like, it's like, so really, that's connect just the dots. Like, like one, two, three, four, five. Like, so, 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 okay, so now we're going to do brows because as you can see, I have a pretty palette now. She's fixed it. But now we need brows. We do, but we need light. So okay. we got to switch around because that is very important when you're doing makeup that you can see what you're doing. I think some women do their makeup in the dark. Okay, okay. okay. this is how we do it. Right on camera. Let's just switch. go. Okay. So first what I'm doing is I'm creating a contour. So I'm creating this line right here that, you know, you have this. For those of us who can't afford <laughs> Restylane. Restylane and Botox mm -hmm, injections mm -hmm. and things like that. So, you know, we're just kind of building. And then you actually put a little bit of sparkle right on the ball of the apple of your cheek. And it kind of helps your cheeks to really look vibrant and alive. It's that Janet Jackson cheek that we all want. Yeah. She is the best. She has the best ever. cheeks. If you don't know, Google it. Look at Janet, Janet Jackson. Cheeks. Has the best oh, cheeks. she's the best cheeks. Who's ever. got the best eyes? Best eyes. I would actually uh, say Whitney had really beautiful really? eyes. Really? Yeah. So was it really fun? Was, she, was it fun doing her eyes because of? Yeah, because her eyes they dance. It was like you would do her makeup, and she would just be, and you could feel her. Her whole inside because she her eyes would just like dance back and forth. I'm like, Wendy, what you thinking about? She's like, I don't know, girl. I'm just so excited about this whole thing, girl. And it was just, it was amazing. So let me ask you this because you know you worked with Whitney, and of course when she was filming Sparkle, everybody was saying Whitney's great. She's back. When you heard the news that Whitney had passed, mm -hmm. and you had just worked with her, mm -hmm. what were your first thoughts? Oh wow, um, I can't even begin to tell you how anguished I was. You know, just you know. Hearing that news and you know being in Los Angeles, and, you know everyone's on their way to the Grammy event, and just knowing that you know she's not here, you know, and people called me, you know, trying to figure out was it true or was it false, and you know I told them I don't know, you know, and I was thinking that it was a rumor because I think that same week there was a rumor that had gone around that she had passed away, and you know with media, social media, Twitter rumors. If you have you have awful. you're not a celebrity until you've died on Twitter. Exactly. So, you know, I was thinking to myself, wow, this is can't be true. And then when I got the call that it was true, I, I think I just really, I went into the shell and I collapsed. I certainly didn't participate in any of the activities that weekend. I was just so devastated. And I was really, really sad because her daughter and her mom and her, and her sister-in-law and her brothers, I mean, they were just really a close-knit family. And it was just really, really sad. So when I see the commercials, I think, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see this because she looks like Whitney of old. Yes, yeah, she really was. And she was just happy. She was excited. I mean, you know, this project had been in the can for 12 years. Aaliyah was supposed to play this part. I did not know that. Look, I'm an entertainment reporter. Let me do that. I'm sorry. Aaliyah was supposed to play this part. <laughs> Go on. Aaliyah was supposed to play this part, and they found that perfect person in Jordan. So her and Deborah Martin Chase, who was the executive producer, um, they actually held the part, held the movie, until they found that person in it. They found it in Jordan. You know, this is Jordan's debut. This is her breakout role. Yeah. And is it is. going to be what everybody wants it to be? Is it going to be her breakout role? It really and truly is, because she has done a phenomenal job. She really took a lot of time to study. Um, and she took her role very seriously. It wasn't just about, oh, I'm in a movie and I'm going to sing and the dance. You know, she really, really, really just practiced, practiced, practiced. And that, you know, that's to be definitely, you know, commended. And um, I, I think everyone's going to be shocked. I think everyone is going to be excited. But I definitely suggest that you take tissue with you first 15 minutes. Really? Yeah. Came in looking really like horse crap. I'm just going to say it. And now I'm going to see Sparkle and notice the makeup. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, I know no, how I that was done. Your hands. No, that's, no actually, that's just dirt. No. <laughs> just dirt. You could have waited until we were off camera <laughs> to know that I had sure. dirty. I wanted to make sure. Thanks, Kim. That's I Kim I Lee. Got that's going to be Kim Lee from the movie Sparkle. Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. Get you. your I'll stuff. See. Let me grab my stuff. Look at this. This arsenal <laughs> she had to bring with her.
to do this. Oh my gosh. I wasn't sure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Hollywood kiss. Mwah. Mwah.